This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm checking out Get Linux to actually get Linux. Hmm, that's kind of meta, isn't it? Anyway, Get Linux is a free and open source portable tool made by DevFire, and it's used to obtain the newest and the coolest in the Linux distro world. It compiles over a hundred different Linux distros into one handy list so you don't have to go searching all over the internets every time you want to find a new ISO file for a certain operating system. Linux operating system, that is, of course. I know there are a lot of tools out there for ISO downloads and portable distros, but what I really like about this one is the fact that it's updated monthly with new OSs and upgrades, the GUI is customizable and it's super, super easy to use, and, duh, it's portable! Yes! This is a really simple program to make your life a little bit easier, and it's specifically for Windows machines. Now I'm going to check out the interface and test it a little bit after the break, but first, here's a word from our sponsor. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, your Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash hak5 and sign up now. Netflix is now available in the UK and Ireland. Our viewers over there can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash hack5 or netflix.ie slash hack5. All right, we're back, so let's go ahead and check it out. Now, first off, you can get Get Linux over at getlinux.sourceforge.net. Oh boy, that's really confusing confusing. Okay, so the program seems to run, it's it's pretty quickly, it's pretty fast, so it's a, it's a quickly running program. And the list of Linux distros is super long. There's a ton in here, and there's a whole bunch that I've actually never heard of, like a, a X-Tix? Uh, I, I don't know. Greeny? I don't know. Oh, Haiku! Hey, I'm really familiar with that one. That one's awesome, actually. I love Haiku. So, you choose your distro, and then you have the nice little image over here of what it looks like. And then down here, you have a little about me for the actual Linux OS. You go over here and choose 32-bit or 64. I'll leave it at 32 and click Download. And then it says Requesting File from Server. So it's going to go ahead and start the download of whatever ISO file that you chose. Luckily I chose one that's only 200 megabytes. I did a test earlier, I downloaded Kane, which is about half a gig or so. It took about five minutes on my ISP, but you know, it depends on how fast your internet is. Uh, the ISOs are downloaded into the Get Linux download folder, just so FYI, so you don't go searching everywhere to find it. And in the settings on the actual Get Linux program, you can choose to have it downloaded and open up the window, the uh, Windows Explorer window, whenever you're ready for it to, uh, you know, put it into UNet Bootin or what have you and actually use the ISO. I sound like one of those Bing commercials, don't I? Anyway, that means it's done, and I set it to actually pop up the downloads window whenever it's completed, so you can see I have the Kane ISO right here and Haiku ISO, ISO .zip. So, once it's completed, you can take your newly downloaded ISO and fire up UNet Bootin or what have you, any kind of program that will actually install an ISO onto your flash drive and test it out. I tested out a couple of uh, different distros before this segment and they worked perfectly. So, hey, it's a good program. And it's super small, it's simple to use, and, you know, it's very obvious what to do with it. Oh look, there's Jolie OS. You guys remember Jolie, right? All right, do you guys have a different tool for Linux distros, downloads, and ISOs, and all that good stuff? Tell me about it in the comments below, or email me tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolust. Do the shakeout. 